Salutations, Dave Degenerate. Uh, I have put the guitars down for a minute. I'm normally a music based channel, I try to keep things related to music and everything like that. But something has happened that has frustrated me. Now, the thing is, is I know that normally, as I said, I try to do things musical here. But the fact is, YouTube is an outlet on the internet. And the internet means that everyone can have their opinion and their voice be heard, regardless of how pointlessly pedantic or stupid that person might be. So, here's my pointlessly pedantic thing that I would like to rant about for just a second. Mm. I have a cup of tea. And part of the reason I have a cup of tea is because, as some people may know, I am English. And this particular issue I'd like to rant about is something that affects England. Now, I grew up in the 90s, and I was a big fan of R.R. Stein's Goosebumps novels. And that was pretty much how I learned to read. Now, earlier, well no, not earlier this year, late last year, they announced they were going to make a Goosebumps film. My 12 year old self was very excited about this. I really, really wanted to see this film. And last week, this film came out in America. Now, everywhere I saw, they were advertising saying that the release date for this film was going to be the 16th of October. So I thought, great, 16th of October. After it comes out, I'll wait till I get paid. I will start looking at cinema times. I started looking at cinema times for yesterday, I think it was, and I couldn't find any anywhere. I looked online, and it said that the film was released in the UK on the London Film Festival on the 17th of October. But that was it couldn't find any more information. Eventually, after a bit of digging around, I discovered that the actual UK release date for this film is the 5th of February 2016. The 5th of February 2016. Now, we usually expect a bit of a delay when American films coming out in the UK. It might be a month later, it might be a month earlier, or it might be a couple weeks. But the 5th of February, down from October, Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that was hot. So, what should we do about this? Well, what I'm about to say is probably going to annoy a lot of people, but the thing is I'm a massive film buff, and I really, really enjoy films. And I do everything I can to promote the film industry. I buy DVDs. I go to see films at the cinema. If I really like a film, I will see it more than once at the cinema. And so, I think that for us that are law-abiding and supportive of the film industry, to suddenly be handed something like this is a bit of a middle finger. So, what I propose all UK people do is pirate the film. Pirate it before it comes out, so that by the time it comes out, you've already seen it and you don't have to go see it at the cinema. Yes, I love going to the cinema, I love the surround sound, I love the big screen, but this isn't, that isn't enough to boycott the film. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that everyone should pirate it. I'm going to say everyone should boycott it at the cinema. And you might be saying that's unfair because the people who made the film, the writers, the director, the producer, the actors that starred in it, they're being stiffed out if people boycott this film. Well, who really makes the money? The production studio. The production studio who funded the film in the first place will be making the majority of the money off of it. And those people are the people who make such crazy decisions as, oh yeah, let's release it months and months after the original in other countries because we don't care about them so much. So, let's deny them the satisfaction. I say us British people unite over our mugs of tea and we deny them the satisfaction of getting money after stiffing us over like this. And you know what, since I'm going off topic with the musical things, and since I'm basically talking about other things right now in this video, I'd like to rant about something else that's been annoying me. That is, lazy music videos. How many times does a band you really like say, we've got a new music video? You go look at it, it's a lyric video. Which is basically the thing that five years ago people were posting on Facebook for fun, which were a cheap, lazy way to listen to the song without worrying too much about infringing on copyrights, and suddenly, actual bands started doing it, that's not cool. But that is, well, moderately more lazy than what is also common, which is these days. That is when they put videos together using live footage. A music video is a film that you make. Make the film, 
Don't just have someone show up at your house with a camcorder and then suddenly show up at all your gigs with a camcorder and then splice it all together. We don't wait ages to hear the new single to see that. We wait ages so we can see a proper film. Show me blood. Show me guts. Show me something interesting. Make me laugh. Make me cry. I don't care. Show me something that is not just a live show. If I want to see the live show, I will go on YouTube and I will type in the name of the song and I will put the word live at the end of it and then I will get the full live performance which will actually interest me a lot more than lots of unedited snippets thrown together that don't even make sense when form a cohesive whole. See what I mean? See where I'm coming from with that? See where I'm coming from with that. That's ridiculous. Of course, music videos that are just lyrics are also lazy. That is some guy at a computer for half an hour that's thrown that out. Oh, that's so good. So maybe we should put a stop to that. We should allow people to actually make proper, decent music videos. We'll make the world a better place. We will do it. And we will boycott the Goosebumps movie. Listen to me, England.